hi, hello, welcome back to another episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. We are down in X18. We just gathered some secret documents. A thick pile of scientific documents, terms, formulas, and a number of diagrams. I was going to read a, an encyclopedia entry at the end of the last episode, but we kind of got distracted. So I think I'll do one now quickly. Um, how about Poltergeist, since we're down here? Supernatural in the eyes of some, invisible creatures haunting the deeper reaches of the zone, usually haunting old abandoned buildings. Nothing is known about their origin, although rumours and circulation claim they are spirits of stalkers hit by a massive wave of radiation. Their mysterious appearance and disappearances seem to correspond to the poltergeist legend, hence the name. Known encounters with poltergeists are quite diverse, in fact, from mischievous laughter and blood-chilling howling to deadly fireballs appearing out of nowhere. Unfortunately, all information about the poltergeist phenomena originates from unclear and contradictory stories of questionable validity. Alright, so we've killed a few of those guys down here. And now we're down here gathering documents, and as soon as we picked up the documents, the military turned up. Or what I presume to be the military. There was some radio chatter about clearing the lower floors. We haven't been up there yet. We should be okay in terms of ammo and so on. I better reload my grenade launcher. Especially if the military have turned up, because we should be able to just, like, take their stuff. Oh, sorry. I just got to adjust my mic over so slightly. Let's see what's going on up here, man. Maybe we can escape without, uh... Oh, it's the rest of these. <gasps> That's fine. It's fine. Oh, hello. Two scientific med kits. Some 9x19 PBS1 rounds. A Wolfer P99, which I don't really need. And lots of bandages. Oh, I'm too fat. <laughs> too fat as usual. I'm going to drop this uh, L85. We've got other L85s. Oh, here we go. Aha! All the meds in the world. And... Plenty of ammo, too. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness me. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we have 500 rounds now, so we should be okay to get out of here. Goodbye, Mr. L85. We only have two VOG grenades left. I'm going to be careful with those. And our next objective is to head back to Rostock and see Barkeep. I'm going to be mashing. I'm going to be mashing that quick save button like a madman. Maybe there is nobody down here. I think I'll switch the old flashlight off. The flashlight doesn't affect stealth uh, by default in the X-ray engine. It's really peculiar. The flashlight, which you would think wouldn't have any effect, would have a lot of effect on your stealth, has no effect whatsoever. And other things which you would think would have no effect, like swapping weapons or using a knife on somebody, completely breaks your stealth immediately. It's, um, it's a very peculiar engine, held together with vodka magic and wishes. Could we... We don't really want to use this, that's the thing. Wah! Well, that's annoying. 
<laughs> Sit down, son. There was some jerk outside my window, like, idling his two-stroke uh, motorcycle. Every single time I try to sit down and record something, something like this happens. It's, um... It's a pretty infuriating. I mean, I can't blame other people for, like, living their lives, but... It's just, I don't know, it's not a conducive environment to recording for a stream, or for YouTube. What's this? And trash, what it, trash is what it is. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here, if I can remember the way. Do you remember the way? It's not this way, I'm pretty sure. Is this sanitary zone? I can't read that. There's something about sanitary zone or something. Probably like wash your hands or whatever. Um, it wasn't just one motorcycle. It was a whole cavalcade of them that went roaring past my window. So I had to mute my microphone for like 20 seconds while they went by. There's always something. I wouldn't mind taking those artifacts with me. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't we? Surely we're at like the entrance now. I'm so confused. Yeah, 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 okay. I was going to get all lost and confused then. Oh, wait. I don't remember this staircase at all. Maybe I do. That wasn't too bad. I was expecting, like, oh gosh. I couldn't even see that, uh... Until we got close. Um, see, what worries me now is... Will the place upstairs be crawling with the military? And of course it will. Why wouldn't it be? And what are they looking for? I guess they're trying to come in. I always wondered, like, what exactly these military, like, hit squads job was. They went... Oh, great. Return to trader. The bandit base was attacked by the military. Hmm. The entrance to the garbage is blocked, but there is an old road to the south. You can use it, but you want to be careful. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. I want a suppressor. It was a dawn raid by the military. They came to confiscate all the marijuana and the illegal and the illegal hooch that they were brewing <laughs> in the bandit base. Watch. Watch this. AN-94s, of course.
I'm thinking... I'm thinking that Mr. Helicopter, who will be a great impediment to our escape, might like to get to know, on a very intimate basis, Mr. Rocket Launcher. Are you, Mr. Helicopter? And where's my scope? There it is. He's over there, clearly. Maybe he's not a real helicopter. Maybe he's a fake helicopter. The ambience. Crap. Get it. Get it, son. I wanted to try and creep and sneak out of here, but I mean, that's clearly not going to be viable for us. So shooting our way out is the only plausible option, I guess. And we're very heavy! I suppose I could just lob some grenades down here. Wah! Well, that was close. Looks like I've got a couple of them. Um, I think there are guys outside the walls, but... Maybe let's just... Maybe let's just leave. Just try and make it out of here in one piece. I really need to sort out my whole loot situation. I don't know why I'm always so over-encumbered, apart from the fact that I'm a rat. Who will never, like, leave loot behind. If you can possibly avoid it. It looks pretty clear. What is this? Shotgun ammo? Don't care. Literally could not care less. Idiot. I apologise to you just hearing me clear my throat right into the mic. I normally mute my mic when I do that. There's a little cosy little stash here. Ooh. I will take it all. One can never have too many sausages. That's my motto. Stash in the crane in the train car. Oops, I need that. All right, so. going. What the hell is up there, I wonder? Can you get in that room up there? Doesn't look like it. So obviously we're going back to see Sirolovich. That's where the game wants us to go next, so that's where we're going to go, I guess. I know I could loot those corpses, but I don't want to. 
Yeah, because I saw that coming. Okay. Alright. If you're going to leave me to it, that's fine. So we need to be going all the way down the road. I don't know if that's aimed at me or what. It sounds like there are guys over here, though. I think someone just shot the helicopter down. World's most accurate AK. Doink. Sit down, son. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a piggy down there. Oh, I don't like. I don't like. We're okay? No, apparently we didn't pick up much radiation, so I guess we're fine. Another AN 94. Which we will drop, of course. There's a little flesh down there. But he seems fairly docile. I wonder where this will bring us out. Like, Dark... Dark Scape. This is Dark Valley. Dark Scape is to the south in, like, most of the modern sandbox mods. That was another cut level that was added back in, found in the code, and re-added to the game. But it's not in Shadow of Chernobyl, so I guess this will just bring us out into Cordon. Maybe at the edge of the, um... The tunnel? What the hell? I totally didn't need to do that, but you know. I think we've got a stash over here. We have... Pipe dreams up in smoke. Too tired to carry my own cheap crap. Why did I come here? Um, let's go take a look. I guess it's over there. Yo, hombre. Come over here. Let's talk business. Oh, there's gamers. The first friendly face I've seen in like 10,000 years. Hold on, let me, um... Yeah, what's up, dude? Is it here? Oh, it's to the right. It's here? Really? Oh. Yeah, a load of crap. I'll take it, though. Yo, bro, what's up? Uh, Vasca Chief. Hey, want an awesome gun? I found a little something near Yantar. A stash, I guess. There was this Gauss rifle, among other things. I tell you, this thing rocks. Anyone within 100 meters of it is as good as dead. You can have it for just 800 rubles. Here's the money. Excellent. Wait, I'll go get it. Okay, I'm waiting. Doop, 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 doop. 800 rubles for a gauss Listen rifle? Listen to me carefully, sucker. Have you heard the story of Robin Hood? Well, your money went to feed the poor. Forget about it. Try sticking your nose here again, and you'll be crawling back to your mommy. Piss off while you're still alive. Wow, okay. Uh, so I, I, I kind of, once I gave him the money, I knew what was going to happen, but... Uh, <laughs> Shut up, dude. We'll come back and see him another time, maybe. Uh, it's it's one of those kind of iconic moments, although I'd forgotten it actually happens here. 
There is no Gauss rifle. Uh, and 800 rubles is a, pretty, a fairly pitiful amount of money. Whichever way you slice it. Um... Something I have actually just noticed, it's embarrassing that I've only noticed like 12 episodes or 13 episodes into my recording of this, is that I'm recording in 720p, like some kind of like 2008 guy. Uh, I thought I was recording native resolution 1080p, but, or maybe I am and just YouTube isn't processing it co correctly, I don't know, but yeah, so I apologize if you're watching this in 720p like it's uh, the olden days. Um, for the next series, I'll make sure it's... Uh, I'll make sure when I do Clear Sky, I'll, I'll keep it in this format probably for the rest of this playthrough, but I'll, I'll make sure it's 1080p at least for uh, Clear Sky. There's no reason for it not to be. Hey, yeah, we're at the tunnel, which is where I thought we would be. Um, we may get tangled up with a bandit fight here, which I'm not really that excited about, because we're here. We need to get, well, we don't need to get here, but we might as well go and see um, Sid since we're back here. Oh, there it's we go. great to see you alive, and even had time to stop by. Hmm. Come inside. There's something interesting coming up that I want to talk to you about. Oh yeah, that's convenient. Hey, Pooch. Doggy, what are you doing? I may as well see if I can skin these in case somebody asks for one of the parts. There's boars up there. That sounds like bandits raiding the car park again. Every time you come here, the bandits will raid, I think. And eventually they manage to, like, they manage just to whittle down those loners. They're, like, persistent. The loners that we came here with at the very beginning of the run. They're, like, a persistent group. Um, I'm pretty sure you can uparm them by just giving them weapons and so on, but... Once they're dead, they're dead. And I don't know if or when another loner group will come back and try to retake it. Yeah, see, he's dead there. It looks like the bandits managed to take over. I'm going to leave them unmolested for now, but I will come back and wreak vengeance upon them at some point. Let's go and see what old city wants to do. City boy. Yeah, if you if you bring some like AKs or whatever and trade it to those owners, they're much more effective at defending themselves, I think. Oh, hello. Who are you? i got to say, we're pretty well armoured and geared for, uh, for, like, a rookie loner. Hey, bro. How you doing? We good? Oh. Oh, you got a friend here. Uh, do you know what? Deal with your own problems. I don't care. Sadly, still no stone blood for Sid, which means we can't immediately complete any side quests that we've got down here, but... Sounds like those guys are having fun back there. I probably should have stayed and helped them, but I don't care much. What have they ever done for me?
Hey, Mark, get your ass over here. We need to talk. Why, what's up? This is not marked one. You'll come in handy. We could really use some help. Go on. I'm Fnatic and I'm filling in for the leader since Wolf left. Wait, what? Did I kill Wolf? Someone said I killed Wolf. A few mercs. I'm filling in for the leader since Wolf left. A few mercs came by here yesterday. And they were some tough bastards, let me tell you. They come here and start making serious demands. You've got one day to clear this camp out. It's going to be our new base. Tonight they're coming back, as you can imagine. They won't be in the mood to chat. So what are you going to do? We're going to set up an ambush, because a direct attack will probably be the end of us. They've got the fighting gear and everything, plus they're trained in tactics like you can't even imagine. And all we've got here are little boys, so we decided to just sit tight in these houses and make it look like we're gone. Then when the right moment comes, we attack. Fighters like you are just the thing we could use right now. And we'll make sure to thank you properly after it's all over. You know we're good for it, so what do you say? Of course. Let's spend the rest of the time preparing for the fight. Here's the plan. I'll put the most hopeless rookies in houses and basements and tell them not to make a move, otherwise they might just slaughter our own troops. You and me and a couple of other decent shots will take the best positions to have an eye on the area around the fire. As soon as they come close to the fire, we let the bullets fly from everywhere. They'll be coming from the bridge and I don't think we'll have to wait long, so find yourself a hiding place with a view, then wait for my command. Take a look around, but remember your odds aren't as good in the open. It's your call. Hog. Now? He said tonight. Take up your positions. Let's wait for the enemy. Stay alert. Bro, what are you doing? This is not a very... I mean, I got, I got some crowd control solution right here in the form of a grenade launcher. You guys are just awful at hiding. What is this, first day of hiding lessons? Oh, if that's them there. Okay, they're going to come this way then. Well, that's fine. I can deal with this. I can deal with this almost on my own, I think. <laughs> but I've only got one rocket, so I shouldn't waste it. I think the VOG will sort the situation out. Come on, nerds. Let's go. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Oh yeah, I see him. I see him. I see him. Task failed? What? <laughs> Alright, let's try again, shall we? I don't know what happened with my first grenade. That was, um, I guess because Fnatic died or whatever. I'm going to put my scope back on, I think. The problem is it kind of um, blocks your view of your grenade launcher. Like, whose idea was that?
God, there are a lot of them. Oh my goodness me, there are so many. Did Wolf, did the other guy die? Like, someone in my comments on one of my previous videos said I killed Wolf. But I don't remember how I could have done that. Shut up. Shut up. I just saved your life, you fool. And you're whinging? Wait, you think I'm not trustworthy? Screw you, bro. Shut up. All right, homie, what you got for me? Please don't give me anything valuable or heavy. You're a real killer, March one. I wouldn't want to stand in your way ever. Yep, something like that. Uh, 2,500 rubles. Here, I hope you won't forget about us, by the way. A million thanks. We saved the young ones, March one. Protect the rookie camp from the mercs. Hooray! See ya. So what happened to Wolf, then? Shut up. Let's go and see what Sid wants. Bonjour. Hello. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. <laughs> What's going on, Sid? So you paid X18 a visit? Got the documents? Yeah, here they are. Hmm, well, uh, I see. Now that's interesting. Very interesting. If I told anyone, they wouldn't believe me. Oh, would you look at that? I didn't expect this. It's pretty bad. Well, here, take these back and give them to the barkeep. I owe you for your efforts. You got any special missions for me? Here's the deal. A box containing the reports made by an expedition that went deep north into the zone has been taken to the army outpost. By day, it's guarded as if it was filled with pure plutonium, but for some reason, at night, they only leave two guards. Sneak into the outpost quietly and recover the box. Do that and I'll pay you anything. Within reason, will you do it? Sure, why not? I'll get the cash ready. You haven't let me down once. Just one other thing. Keep it low profile. If the military gets pissed off, we're all in a lot of trouble. Okay. You got any other special missions? No. Here for the job. Find the stone flower. We haven't got that yet. Uh, I need answers to a few questions. What's going on in this neighborhood? This is the entrance, a sort of entrance. We've read all this before. Um, I'm going to leave my rocket launcher there. We probably don't need it anytime soon. I want to get down below 50 kilos if possible. Well, there you go. That's easy enough. Um, and I'm going to call it here. Let's read another encyclopedia entry. Let's read one about um, mutants. Let's read about the crows. The only bird species to have survived in the zone, enduring increased radiation levels and effectively avoiding anomalies. While the army pilots need to rely on complex detectors to avoid gravitational disturbances, the crow seems to rely on its own senses for this, a mystery that drives ornithologists and biologists mad. Various theories have attempted to explain the phenomena exist, all of them pointing to a highly specialised development of the bird's brain. And there we go. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Come back tomorrow for the next one, when we'll probably do a raid on the military base and then try and go north to, um, back to, back to Rostock. Um, please do feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the series, it's really, really helpful. And as always, if you want to see some live gameplay, you can catch me almost every single day on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Enyo Nomad. But thank you very, very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.